Okay, one of the, what I wanted to show you here was a um, homemade vacuum canister for investment casting. Uh, I saw a gentleman on YouTube make one, and I thought I would take my spin on it. Um, this here is five-inch exhaust from a you know from a large truck from a semi that a friend of mine pulled from a dumpster. And I cut it down to about, oh, I think it's 11 inches. Crudely MIG welded a flat piece of steel on the bottom. And then for my vacuum setup, I have a, I think it's an M12 bolt going through a half inch hole. And you won't be able to see down on the inside here. Let me get a flashlight. The nut for the bolt, or the head of the bolt, is on the inside going out with the rubber washer. Then a nut with a rubber washer behind it. And then a common fitting I had in my junk drawer, but you can pick these up at um, oh, Westlake's Hardware or any uh, hardware box store. And then the M12 bolt has a hole drilled all the way through it. So I can hook my uh, vacuum right up to it. So let me stop this and we'll hook it up. This is a, uh, what's it say, four cubic feet per minute vacuum pump. This is an eBay special. Really cheap, equivalent to, you know, Harbor Freight. And then this is uh, off of my air conditioning recharge kit goes right on right on the pump and right on this fitting this is a failed gasket I tried to make yesterday I guess it works but it's so ugly that it was time to make a different one but I'm hoping with this high temperature silicone it can withstand the heat of the flask that goes in here. And then with my investment in there, of course, I'm hoping to have good vacuum. But I'll show you the vacuum. Here's just a flat piece of steel. Set that on there. Kick the pump on. You can pick the whole thing up just from that five seconds of vacuum. With the pump turned off, it's holding a vacuum. So this should make a, a pretty good setup, I hope. Anyway, we will find out.